morning, everyone. Welcome to Just Breathe. Today's scripture passage is from Romans chapter 8, reading from verse 26. Romans chapter 8, reading from verse 26, it says, In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the man of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword. As it is written, for your sake, we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we glorify your name. Lord, we pray that we we'll acknowledge that you are our Savior and there's nothing too hard for you to do. We thank you and we pray a blessing for all those who have tuned in. We give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So when we look at this passage of Scripture, we see here that the word of God says that the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, helps us in our weakness. Sometimes we are praying. We are not even certain what we should be praying, how we should be praying. And here the Bible says the Spirit intercedes with wordless groans. What a mighty God we serve. When I look back now, I am so grateful that some of the prayers have whispered that at the moment I thought I needed the thing right there and then. I'm so glad that God is sovereign. God knows what we need. And sometimes he says yes, sometimes no, or sometimes not yet. We ought to worship him that in everything is working things for our good, hallelujah. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, for those who have been called according to his purpose, hallelujah. What does this mean? 
it means that it is not everything that happens to us it is necessarily good but god is able to work it for our good it wasn't good that we lost that job but god says i'm about to work it out for your good i'm going to establish you in your own business i'm going to do a turnaround hallelujah i remember my late mom once we went to the doctor and we get we didn't get the report that we were praying for or hoping for and as i sat beside her at home talking to her she said to me i cannot thank the lord for everything but in everything i give him thanks what a mighty god we serve that even at our lowest moment we can acknowledge this is not what i was hoping for this was not what i was praying for but here the word of god says i am about to work all things not some not a few but all things for our good god's timing is perfect and when we think that there is a, le a delay god is saying i'm putting the final touches on your blessing hallelujah it's breakthrough time it's time for us to praise him it's time for us to acknowledge that he alone is sovereign and he has a good and a mighty plans for our lives hallelujah what shall we say in response to this if god be for us who can be against us sometimes we are so troubled we are trying to find out who is plotting against us who is saying bad things about us at work or in a family setting or at school or wherever we find ourselves and the question is being asked if god be for us who can be against us hallelujah it means that the way god is going to fight our battles it doesn't matter what plans are afoot god says i'm about to wipe it out i'm about to defeat every plan of enemy what a mighty god we serve so it's not time to seek out who, who has wronged us who has betrayed us who has carried news against us god says you don't need to do that if i am for you who can be against you what an awesome god what a miracle working god if we have no one in our corn except god we have more than enough hallelujah he's about to fight our battles for us and he has never lost one hallelujah who shall separate us from the love of god who is in christ jesus our lord trouble cannot separate us from the love of god neither hardship some persons have gone through persecution hardship and none of these things can separate us from the love of god as a matter of fact in all of these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us hallelujah so on our own we are destined for failure but if we stand on the promises of God, we are told that we are more than conquerors. So no matter what we are about to go through, God is with us. Hallelujah. I like this part of the, the passage. It says, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future nor any powers neither heights nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of god that is in christ jesus our lord no matter what our future holds nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God neither death which a lot of people fear neither life no hardship neither 
the present nor the future. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. It's time for us to take it easy, just to breathe, just to relax, because whatever we are going through, or no matter what is ahead, it is just for a season, and nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Remember, that is not everything that happens to us is good. What the promise of God is, I am going to work it out for your good. Hallelujah. Next year this time, we'll be sharing our testimony to thousands, to millions of persons saying, look what the Lord has done. We have gone through sickness, would have gone through perhaps the death of loved ones, and we are still standing and we are still able to see the Lord is good and is worthy to be praised. What a mighty God we serve. We are more than conquerors. We are warriors and we are standing firm in the love of God through Christ Jesus, our Lord. It's time to just breathe. It's time to relax, knowing that the Lord has us right in the palm of his hands. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord continue to bless and keep you as we face whatever challenges that may occur. Have a blessed day.